It is already week five for high school football. My name is Cadenis, and today I am bringing you those week five class 1A rankings. We've got 16 teams to break down. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. As you can see, class 1A rankings. We start with 16 through 11. Let's turn that on. There we go. Uh, starting at number 16, AHSTW, just uh, a, a good team. They moved down five spots this week. They hang into our top 16. They've just lost two in a row against Kemper and then uh, Underwood. So uh, really, really a tough few weeks for the Vikings, and they're going to look to get back on track this week. Ogden, they are new to our rankings. They entered the top 15 uh, at number 15. And also joining our rankings is number 14, Wilton. West Sioux moves up three spots this week, and so does Regina Catholic. Regina, a team that's new to our poll as of last week, but they're doing nothing but rise uh, as they are looking uh, to be a pretty fierce team down the stretch in, in Class 1A. And rounding out our 16 through 11 is Sumner Fredericksburg. They moved down two spots after losing to Dyke New Hartford. Without further ado, let's get into your top 10 for Week 5 in Class 1A. At number 10, Columbus Catholic. The Sailors handed Hudson its first L of the season with a 42-18 win. Uh, again, this team bounced back after nearly uh, toppling West Branch. West Branch, a team in our top five. Uh, Columbus Catholic had them on the ropes. So this is a good team down here at the number 10 spot, and it was uh, our team of the week this week. Uh, at number nine, Trainer. They move up four spots. Big jump for them. A 47-6 to win over Red Oak. May not be as impressive as it would have uh, been last season, but nonetheless, the Cardinals are 4-0 behind quarterback Ben Casey. At number 8, South Hamilton. They move up two spots. Seemingly everyone touched the ball on a 56-0 win over West Central Valley, putting up 512 yards, uh, rushing with only one pass attempt. They lean into their strengths with no issue against South Hamilton. They move up two spots and hold down uh, this number 8 spot this week. At number 7, Denver. Even though everyone knows the Cyclones are going to run, no one could stop Micah Greer, who helped the team average 14 yards per carry in a 42-6 win over Central Springs. Denver has climbed the last few weeks. Um, they've done nothing but the boat win, and so they've earned themselves again. They were 12 two weeks ago. They were number 8 last week, and now they find themselves at number 7. So they've not done nothing but climb the last three weeks. Another team that climbed in this week's rankings, Dyke New Hartford, the Wolverines. Pushed Sumner Fredericksburg down with a 22 to 14 win, led by tight defense. The team had 12 tackers, tackles for loss, led by Zachary Adelman's four. Again, Dyke New Hartford, a team that's been just absolutely tested a gauntlet in their first four weeks. Seems like Grundy Center. Uh, I know they, they had West Branch. They beat that team really tight. And just I believe all four ranked teams in, in their first four weeks have been ranked in the top ten at some point. So Dyke New Hartford, really impressive for them. They are at the number six spot this week. Um, as they, hold, as they move up one spot. But nonetheless, we will get to our top five. And as you can see, not much movement here. Pella Christian, they stay at number five, a bounce back win uh, after a blowout loss to Granny Central. The Eagles crushed 42 or crushed Pleasantville by a score of 42 to 14. At number four, West Branch, not much resistance and a 38 to nothing win over Cascade. Everyone got involved with uh, with uh, consistency, proving to be one of the most balanced teams. Again, West Branch at the number four spot. At number three, Underwood. Underwood crashed AHSTW's homecoming with a 28-12 win, led by another big performance from running back Maddox Nelson. Uh, at number two, MFL Marmac. The Bulldogs blew the roof off of Applington Parkersburg 49 to nothing by a team average of 9.5 yards per attempt. That was a game that I think caught us all by surprise. I think Applington Parkersburg was expected to hang in that one a little more. But MFL Marmac, after struggling with New Hampton, come out, they come out this week and really make a statement against a pretty good Applington Parkersburg team. Again, they win 49 to nothing and hold down that number two spot. But they just can't quite get to number one because they got a really good team at number one. Grundy Center, after a 49 to nothing win over East Marshall, opponents are scoring just 4.8 points per game against the Spartans. And you can't lose if you don't give up points. Again, Grundy Center... Uh, they stay at number one, another class where, where number one has stayed the same all five weeks, and that's what the Spartans have done as they look to go back to back in different classes. Um, again, that's Grundy Center at the number one spot. So that's all I've got for the top 16 in class 1A. We got in and out pretty quick. Uh, be sure to tune in and uh, to the rest of the rankings across all the other classes, uh, and I'll catch you guys next week.